My name is Richard Ekebus. I'm from uh, Amber Restaurant at Landmark Mandarin Oriental. And I'm going to cook for you um, a Lankot sea boss, sea bream, uh, with a stew of uh, octopus and um, a lot of aromatic vegetables and a uh, very summery dish. So first we're going to cook um, the octopus. So it's Japanese octopus, very large uh, size uh, tentacles. We already cleaned it and, and rubbed octopus with salt to tenderize him. Uh, so it is here. We have a stock of fish. We're going to add some very simple aromatic uh, vegetables. So we're going to add some onion, carrot, celery and fennel. And we're going to poach it together to make sure that the octopus gets really tender. It's just a basic fish stock. We're going to add a little bit of the aromats. We're going to have the big tentacles of the octopus. And we're going to cook that till tender. So till it's cooked and then we take the skin off. So we're adding olive oil, shallots, we sweat the shallots without coloring, okay, the fennel. Very important that they don't color. This is what we call sweating, so that basically all the sugars are not caramelizing, but that, that it loses all the water in the vegetables. Gonna add a little bit of salt. We add the octopus. When we cook the octopus, all the juice that we use to initially poach the octopus, we keep and we use this to, um, to add to the stew. So recuperate, recuperate all the flavor. Then we're gonna add a little bit of dry white wine, generously, because that will give it also some acidity. Evaporates all the white wine, to make sure that the alcohol is gone. We're gonna use the broth that we uh, have extracted from the, the the poaching of, uh, of the octopus and we cover it generously, okay? So now we're going to stew it very slowly. We cover it with a little paper and then this we leave on a very uh, low fire simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes. There's no precise science in the, in the time. You will need to taste uh, the octopus to make sure that it's fondant. Almost at the end we will add the tomatoes it's so a concasse of tomatoes, so we took the pips and the, and the skin out, and then we add the tomatoes and we continue stewing it. We continue stewing for another 10 minutes. Season the fish with salt. We took the skin of the fish, put the salt on all sides, okay? We have a pan, we put a little grease paper in the pan. We place the fish on the grease paper, some olive oil and a little bit of the broth that we have from the octopus. And we bring it to uh, about 70 degrees. And very slowly we're gonna basically confit, poach the fish and we're gonna make sure we cover it constantly with the broth. But we don't want it to cook. If it's cooking then the fish is gonna get tough. We want it to be very, very soft. In there we add a little bit of thyme, some garlic, and a little bit of bay leaf. We leave it really to, to cook on the side of the stove. So we, we cover it, a little bit, piece of paper, and on the side we let it simmer. Some of the octopus we have just put in the freezer to get, get it hard. And then with that, we're gonna make we're going to reconstitute the scales of the fish until this. So the fish is practically cooked. The, the broth we're going to reduce. Basically the braising jus of the fish we need to reduce to, uh, to taste, so it should not be too salty. We're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Pass the sieve through a very small strainer. 
Make sure that the sauce is clean. And then we have the sauce. We have a little bit of lemon. We take the carpet. And we gave the fish the scales back. I'm gonna brush it with some extra virgin olive oil. Then we take the scale, only the scale, no white. Small mignonette of pepper. A little bit of sea salt, of course sea salt. Then salicornia, this is a vegetable that grows on the shores in my hometown. It's a slightly salty taste. Put a little bit more of the lemon puree on the plate. And then the fish, clean the plate. This is the final product, so we have uh, the sea bream with the, the braised uh, octopus, the scales of octopus, the lemon, salicornia garnish, the sauce, which is basically the braising dew of the octopus and the fish. And then on the side, all the elements that we have used in the stew, meaning the, the, the carrots, the fennel, um, salicornia, the octopus, the tomato, comes back in this small salad just to refresh the palate, okay? So it, it really is uh, a matter of eating uh, the fish first and then cleanse the palate at the ends with this small octopus salad, which is seasoned with a little bit of soy sauce, olive oil, and a little bit of lemon. That's it.